Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you difference and similarities between agile methodologies and scientific method. This video is also available in Spanish. Okay, so as you know in this channel we've been working a lot with agile methodologies. However, the scientific method uh, it has been for more than a hundred years in the world and it has been working very well for a couple of development. So this is a way of development, different kind of components and different kind of, of research. Which are the characteristics? It is a methodology for the development of project, agile methodologies that require speed and flexibility. It's a philosophy that supposes a different way of working and get organized in such a way that each project chop into small parts that they have to be complete and delivered in a few weeks. This is the uh, definition of Agile methodology. Even if it's Scrum, Agile, Design Thinking, Lean Startup, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, it's very important because it will allow you uh, to chop your project and, and develop in the way that is easier for you. The scientific method is a research method used mainly in the production and knowledge in the science. To be called scientific method of research should be empirical based and measurement based and subject to the specific principle of reasoning test. In this video, we'll discuss like the two different approaches, which are the similarities and which are the difference. It's very interesting because even though that the scientific method has been a long time in the world, it's still in use. And the agile methodologies have been taking uh, a lot of their, of their part. So we'll see that. So we're going to start like talking about the scientific method. And the first thing that you need to know when you are developing a project is the approach of a problem. The approach of a problem is developed with observation. You realize there is something, you wanna be focused on something specific, and it will help you a lot to observe the situation. After you are observed, you start formulating different hypotheses. The process of hypotheses are possible ideas or possible explanation to understand a situation, to understand a phenomenon, to understand different causes of a specific situation. After that, you will design an experiment for testing your hypothesis. In this experiment, you will see and you will develop if you can confirm your hypothesis or you could say like, no, that, that's not what's going on. This kind of project could be a couple of months, could be a couple of years, and in some situation, it could take you their whole life to prove a hypothesis. In the two scenarios, if it's a proof of is a uh, rule out, you can make and formulate a new hypothesis in the situation that is, is not tested positive. Or you can say like, no, it's, it's, there is no way that I can prove this. In the other situation, if it's yes, you can create laws, um, develop stories, uh, different ways you can uh, uh, write articles, different uh, situations and are very, very interesting. The scientific method is basically focused on science, physics, chemistry, um, astrology, all of that are science. So if you want to test a Newton, a Albert Einstein, all of them use scientific method to test their laws and their development. So it's very interesting because it will focus on, on something specific. The agile methodologies got a different approach. The first one is design thinking, as I tell you in the introduction of this video, we got different stages. The first thing is this, uh, this is a linear methodology. Agile methodologies are not linear. It means that you can be working in different stages at the same time. Here, you cannot do that. 
because the scientific method, after you don't have the formulation of the hypothesis, you cannot start developing the experiment to test your idea. And you have to be uh, keep moving forward and go stage by stage. Here, it doesn't happen that. Design thinking and all of the different uh, agile methodologies, um, they got different tools for each stage. And that's very interesting because it will allow you to be working on something. Also, the time of development is not that long. You can work design sprint in one week, you can work Scrum in a couple of weeks and months and have a clear result. Here, the time was very, very, very long. Also, the focus is different. Agile methodologies are developed and focused on create products and services. Here, uh, it didn't happen that. So the purpose is different. However, in Lean Startup, you also make hypotheses in many of the terms come from here. So it was a reference, even though that is very, very, very different. Scrum, it has been growing a lot because the majority of software corporations use uh, Scrum, Agile, Scrum, Band, Kanban. And all of these methodologies got the same principle. However, the focus is different. A Scrum is a methodology and a Scrum band specific for uh, IT and all the technological and software part. Kanban is a methodology specific made for production, industrial production. Lean Startup is a um, methodology focused on new enterprises. Design thinking is focused on developed products on services focused on real needs. So even though that they got a couple similarities, they are way different. Agile methodologies have been in the market less than 20 years. Scientific method has been more than 100 and probably will stay. So it's very important to understand which kind of methodology I want to use for the development that I'm making. As a conclusion, uh, we can say that agile methodologies are continuously growing and they incorporate more and more and better tools. That's something very interesting because after the agile methodologies were put on the market, uh, they have been growing. They got new stages, they got new tools. With scientific method, this structure hasn't changed in more than a hundred years and probably it won't change. The scientific method is focused on development research and investigation, papers, books, and theories. Agile methodologies are focused on the development of products, services, and new business. So the focus and purpose is way different. However, there are uh, some influence, um, but they are very, very different. And it's extremely important that you know what kind of methodology suits you better for the development that you want to make. Thank you so much, I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Our Udemy courses are already available. Um, in the description of this video you will find the link. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time.